I was looking at another talented screenwriter site, and her name is ShellyGustavuson.com. And she says in this one article, there are stories that you figure out and then write, and then there are stories that you figure out as you write them. Any thoughts? Ah, oh, that's interesting. I stories that you figure out and then write, or stories that you figure out as you write them. I think that's true. I think that's true both for my work as a journalist and a screenwriter. I mean, I can go into an interview believing that it's going to go one way, and it turns out to be an, an entirely new thing. I mean, it's a little off topic, but um, I remember when 9-11 happened, and I was supposed to have interviewed John Schneider at that time. <laughs> um, he was uh, sup uh, the Superman. Uh, father. Uh, he was the father of Superman mm -hmm. for the CW Smallville. show. Yeah. For Smallville, thank you. And um, we had been trying to get this thing together. You know, we had canceled and he was out of town. And, and so I contacted his publicist and she's like, no, he still wants to do it. Um, and it was the day that George Bush was delivering the prayer um, after 9-11. And I was on the freeway, and we still hadn't heard from one of my cousins who lived in uh, New York. And so I'm just like weeping in the car, and it's just it was just so stressful. And so I pull myself together. I go to his home. His wife lets me in. He's upstairs watching the prayer. Um, and so I'm like trying to get myself composed and he comes down and I'm, you know, I've got journalism face on, mm -hmm. journalist face on, you know, hello, how are you? And he's like, did you know anybody? And all I kept thinking of is we don't know where Barbara is. And I just broke down. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, what I thought was just going to be this innocuous, personality profile about this actor turned into a really interesting revealing story not only about the character he was playing but what justice and what uh, patriotism and and all these things meant so you know a story that was supposed to be this you know cute little personality profile about uh, this actor turned into something deeper and richer and you know, I talked to my editor about whether or not I should include the fact that I wept on this man's white shirt. <laughs> and, you know, and so it was, it was one of those things even now in kind of what we're doing, the work that we're doing, we had a certain, you know, focus and, and, and idea about it. And I think as we've gone through this, screen, this screenwriting workshop in Switzerland and the experiences that we've had there, um, just stepping back from the screenplay for a couple of weeks and then coming back and just kind of reevaluating what it, what is it that we're trying to say and, and how are we saying it and are we really affecting not only good story but are we really saying something with the way that we're going? I think it can happen, but I think it definitely can happen both ways. Um, and uh, I was open to it as a journalist because it was always fun. It, it's, 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 it's like a discovery, you know, when, when you have preconceptions of what your story is, but then it develops into something very different. Um, I think there's something very exciting about that and something uh, very, um, very freeing about it if you allow yourself to open yourself to that. It can be, you know, you can go in a direction, because I think even to a certain extent, some of the things that we've done, at least in this screenplay, um, have moved further from what I thought my original idea was, but it's so much better. And like I'm working on a documentary where I thought I was going to have a particular story that was going to go in a particular way and time and finances, because I don't have the money to continue to generate it, um, once it's done, I can see it, it, it's, it's, it's already a different story because there was a particular time frame on that story 
that I thought, oh, I'm gonna get it done and I'm gonna get this and you know, and the personality is gonna be great and it didn't turn out that way, you know? <laughs> um, and so looking at how that story can evolve now, it's going to be a m not, n you know, the story that I was wanting to tell was great. This story could be even greater because of not only my experience and time, but because of new circumstances and new developments and new undertones and, and things like that. So, um, so yeah, I think it can, I, I, I definitely think working with, a, with something and, and, and having it be what you thought it was going to be is great, but also the discovery of something new from what you thought you had um, is also a, a wonderful yeah. gift. I think, yeah, from really, if I'm honest, I'm always figuring it out as, as I write. Even if I go in thinking that I know what it is, um, I'm still going to end up figuring it out a as I go. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's, I have inside out writing and, and outside in writing. Um, and the outside in will tend to be something where there's kind of an external story. And then, so you're kind of, you've got the container a little bit, and then you're figuring out all of the ways that you're furnishing and arranging what's in that container and generating some new stuff. Um, but, and then when occasionally I, I have the luxury of doing kind of what I call the inside out, where you just, you have almost nothing, you have like, you woke up in the middle of the night with like an image in your head, or you know, you just kind of this very fragmentary thing, like a grain of sand, and, and then it's like you're making stone, narrative stone soup. You're like, here's the pebble, and then you know, do you know the story of stone, stone soup? You know, they go around, they get the, the meat and the carrots and, and everything, and then it's more like, it's like found art, like just pulling all of the the things from your life, your memories and what's going on and and you're kind of building it out from from this little thing and it becomes something um, where you really didn't have much of an idea what it was going to be at all. And so that's that's pretty fun. Um, and and that would again, of course, be an example of figuring it out as you as you go.